Hi everyone, my name is Nicola and I am Simply a Stitcher and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, this is a channel about cross stitch and if you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for coming back today. So first things first, today is the 1st of April 2022, this is floss tube number 13 and things today are going to be a little bit different, you may have already noticed with a new uh, method of filming. I noticed on my last video, March 1, um, there was a lot of discrepancy between my mouth moving and the sound coming out. Um, so I'm trying a new way of filming today and hopefully to, to prevent that from happening in the future. Don't know how it's going to go. Let's see, shall we? So I hope everybody is well and has had a good stitching month. I have worked on one, two, three, four five projects this month some for a long time and some for a short time so it's one of those um the first one i worked on i don't have it with me but i only put in literally like 300 stitches and that was my printed kit which is the christmas window um it's now it's not even a fifth of the way there um, and i just like I was, I was doing some training in my new job and I was listening to somebody so I figured that with it I could just you know um, so I'm just going to turn off if I can the vibration on this phone no I can't mm. uh, so I figured that I could just uh, stitch while I was listening because they couldn't see what I was doing but I could still hear everything and it's a way of stuff going in isn't it um, so that one is that so the next one I worked on this month was Avarice, which is by Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork by Marta Darling, and didn't get a lot put in on this this month, but to be fair, last month I had I did do an awful lot on it. Uh, however, having said that, we have now hit 75%. Last month it was at 74.04%, this month it's at 75.04%, so exactly 1%. Um, this is how it looks now. I worked in that little bit there at the top and as you can see at the bottom the name is starting to come in as well. So really happy with that, it's looking very good and I'm hoping to put in some, get some more miles in on this one this month. Um, but my stitchy bug's gone a little bit AWOL at the moment so let's see shall we. So that one is Avarice. And I'm still hoping to have this one finished by the end of this year, um, before if I can. So, the next one I worked on was another Heaven and Earth design and it's the Freebie Maui Princess. I haven't taken this off the frame because again I've not got a lot of, a lot of stitches put in. I've only picked this up over the last few days and again we've put on a just over fractionally over one percent so 24.22 percent last month to 25.23 percent this month and i've been working on this bit here some more of that beautiful hair and i'm really pleased again with with how this looks as you can see i mean i've been working on it this morning so what i'm still doing is the select color thread it up use the entirety of that colour then go back to the sort of the next sort of stitch that's butting onto the stitched area pick that one <clears throat> and then fill it in completely and so this is the one that I'm working on at present and I'm going to start the next month on so that's that it's two down getting there quite quickly today mind you I haven't got a lot of time so okay uh, I also did a new start this month and that was the Gecko Gem that I showed you last month. The plastic glare is horrific and I apologise to the cream please. So this is L is for Lamb and the artwork is by Miss Cherry Martini and it's a Gecko Rouge kit. And I have got to 6.06% on this. And that's how it's looking now. You can see the bow in the middle. I have a feeling this video is going to be flipped actually. Um, so 
I'm gonna have a look. Oh, it might not be. We'll soon tell when I if I put something up with wording, won't we? Okay, so that's that. Um, six point zero six percent, and I'm on calls at the moment with the new job. So if it goes quiet, I put in a couple of stitches during the day because otherwise you just sat there bored and looking at four walls, waiting for something to do. So don't tell the boss. That is that. And then the last piece that I've worked on this month is the one I've got in the most progress on. And if you've seen my Instagram, you'll have seen this already, but it's literally one that I can't put down or I haven't been able to put down for much of the month. And it is going to be backwards. This is a Getco Rouge kit, uh, Lorna Lane, uh, the Black Cat and Butterflies. And last month we were at... We're 23.5 percent and this month we have increased that dramatically and we are now up to a whopping 66.44 percent and here is how it's looking now i have to move right back to get it all in so as you can see from last month i have worked some of the cat's face i've worked the moon and all of this in the moon it's a stitched area i've worked that sec second butterfly and started to work on the lotus flowers across the other side of this piece as well so my plan is the next time that i put this on the frame is to continue to work from here acrosswards to meet up with these butterflies and then come down this side um to finish but yeah really pleased with how this one is looking really happy with it and um again it's it's not got because it's not got that much left to go and that this one will be finished in in this year so that's it so that's all my work in progress is done i haven't had any haul apart from a, a couple of cross stitch magazines I've been threatening to get myself some haul, but I've just not got round to it yet. Um, life gets in the way and all that. Uh, so, stitchy stats. Last month, um, my year to date was stood at 63,900. This month, I managed to put in 30,100 stitches. So, that has raised my yearly to mental maths 94,000 so far this year uh, so I'm still hitting that what I wanted to do which was an average of a thousand a day which is great I'm quite happy with that um, yeah that's it so that's all the stitchy news um, yeah I think that's it no haul so for those of you who are here just for the stitching update thanks very much for joining me today and thanks really very much for your time spent with me so i'm not going to be too long but just a quick life update um i've been in the new job now a month uh it's going quite well there's some hiccups on the road but that's what you get with the new role anyway um my problem is is that i'm often not very kind to myself when i'm when i'm when that happens but i'm getting there slowly but surely and learning something new literally every day um the team that have people that I'm working with are really nice. Uh, we went out, we did a volunteer day this week, which was nice. Went out to help out at a local dog sanctuary. Um, so I met in person some people. We also had a day in the office, which as well uh, was quite nice as well, um, up in our offices. Um, family seems to be all good. Uh, Andy's off doing his village idiot thing. He's just been to Burnley. Uh, car broke down while he was there but that's another story a uh, few odds and ends little bits of stuff have happened but nothing particularly of note everybody's well and healthy which is hugely important as long as people are well and healthy um, we know we can we can manage with the rest so yeah so unfortunately this video will be sort of flipped round and things will be the opposite way around unless Andy can work in some editing magic for me I'm hoping he can um, but there we go so 
uh, other than that there's not really much else to say I know it's a really really short update this month I will do a longer one next month I'm just currently a little bit pressed for time I'm due to start work very shortly um, if you've subscribed and, and you know done all the things and rung the bell and made a comment and things thank you very much for that I think I've captured all the comments and there have been some great suggestions for videos upcoming which I'll be taking a look at um, when I have a little bit of time uh, if you haven't subscribed then do so underneath uh, there hit the subscribe button ring the bell I've also got an Instagram at simply a stitcher so you can follow me on there I do post it's not quite daily at the moment um, it it depends on how excited I am about a piece as to how often that I post actually if I'm honest sometimes it can be um, once or twice a day and other times it might be once or twice a week uh, but do give me a follow if you're on Instagram um, as well and I do follow back uh, if I can see your profile if I can see that you're a stitcher and if I can see you've got content um, I don't follow everybody back because we all know uh, whether you're on Instagram or YouTube or whatever you'll always get somebody who is following you and you know it might be some pro clothing company that wants you to promote them or something like that and, I, and I'm not down for that I'm a, I'm a stitcher and I follow stitching accounts there's a couple of other ones that I follow which is slightly out of scope but ordinarily if you're following me if you're a stitcher or if it's a subject I'm interested in I'll follow you back um so yeah that's it and i'm hoping to get i know i say it every month i'm hoping to get two stitch with me's done this month it'll probably not happen it'll probably only be the one because i keep saying it every month and i just can't seem to get around i can do the first one no sweat i just can't seem to get around to doing the second um but hopefully i'll try and sort of work something into my schedule so that can change having the new nine to five monday to friday schedule with my now new job main job is really helpful because it does free up evenings it frees up weekends uh, i'm not working until 6 p.m i'm not waiting to start my shift until 10 a.m it's literally nine to five monday to friday one hour lunch done and that is really handy right now um so yeah so that's it um that's all I've got to say. So take care. Thanks for watching. Happy stitching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.